Uh, Zach Martin joins us now here on The Fan. And a good evening, sir. How the heck are you? I'm doing well. How are you? We're doing good. You know, we're just trying to, to talk about the, the Trayvon Diggs news throughout the, the day and get reaction to it. What what were you thinking when you first saw it happen? Yeah, I mean, it's it's just terrible. I feel feel for old Diggsy. Um, I mean, it's just a tough situation. You never want to see anyone get hurt, especially one of your teammates and, um, you know, during a, a weekday practice. But, uh, you know, he'll, he'll he'll get back at it, get to rehab, and come back stronger. How do you look overall at, at getting hurt in practice? I know a lot of teams are, are turning a serious eye to it and players are playing less and less, but you got to practice sometimes, right? Oh, absolutely. I mean, the only way, you know, you get in that football shape and, you know, get those live reps is, is in practice. So um, it's just kind of part of, part of the business, uh, unfortunately. But, um, you know, we, we obviously have to take care of business during the week to get ready for Sunday. So how are you feeling now? You're looking at a double here with the groin from last week and, and now an ankle. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing good. Uh, you know, working working to get back and, uh, you know, feeling better each day. So, um, yeah. How much time in the ice bath do you spend weekly? Yeah, I love the, love the ice bath. I got, I got super into it this offseason, so uh, I try to get in there every day. Wow. Okay. So, you hurt or not, the ice bath you're getting in there every day. Does, does it get any easier, or is oh it- yeah, much easier. It gets much easier. Those first few days, you, you want to get out after about thirty seconds. But uh, after you do it a few times, you you get in your routine, your rhythm. Man, I was watching that Kelsey doc on Jason Kelsey, and he's just describing how much how much more difficult it is to get through a week at his yeah. age. I mean, how how have things changed for you from when you first started to now, just getting through a week, gearing up for a game? Yeah, it's changed a lot. I mean, I tell the young guys all the time. In my first three or four years, it was like play a game. All right, we're back to practice. Don't have to do any extra rehab. Don't have to do anything like that. And um, you know, now it takes you know most of the week to get back. Constant rehab. Um, just just making sure you're doing all the uh, you know crossing all your T's, dotting all your eyes with the with the body work, so you're feeling good to go on Sunday. So, how exactly do do you get used to that cold water? I, I've yeah. tried it twice. <laughs> I had to bail both times. Yeah. Out. Yeah, I mean that's just you're mentally weak, and that's fine. But uh, you <laughs> <Let> know. <him> know. <laughs> so it's all mental. Yeah, yeah, it's all mental. I got to breathe through it. So I got no chance. Yeah, then. Play, yeah. <laughs> hey, how how fun is that victory huddle, victory formation, Landry shuffle deal? Because you're out, you're banged up, you're not playing. All of a sudden, it's victory formation time. You're running back onto the field. I got to be a part of this. Yeah. Well, when when I came out, you know, I was there towards the end of the game, and Tyron looked over and said, "If we go victory, you're coming back in, right?" Um, you know, that's <laughs> been something special since. Um, you know, since I've been here is, is that victory, uh, that victory formation huddle, you know, it's tough to do in this league. Um, and it's just, uh, I can't say everything that happens in that huddle, but it's a good time. It's, it's a lot of, a lot of smiles and uh celebration of a hard fought win. Well, I, it looks like the overhead camera has got some gyration <laughs> shots a couple of impressive times. Moves, that, man. Yeah. Some impressive moves. Uh, club I was going to say my, my buddies back in high school, like have it on a GIF. So whenever we win a game, it's like, I, I come to my, my phone after the game and my guy, I have my high school group chat and that's, that's always the GIF that's sent. Is it, does everybody look at you in the huddle like they know they're going to get something like that? Or are you kind of like the there guy was that, a couple year stretch there where I did it just about every time. You know, it comes out on special occasions now, but uh, there, <laughs> there there was a couple year stretch where every time we were in victory, you you could find me in there. It's all in the hips, my man. <laughs> yeah. It's all in the hips. Hey Zach, you know with the with the with the the, the Landry shift like that though, like. I grew up watching the Cowboys, and they did that every single snap. Yeah. Would that be would that be something that you would like? All right, man, I'm tired of this. I'm not I'm not doing this every single time. Now. <laughs> yeah, I think you know. I mean, I I don't know because I, I haven't done it every snap, but it seems like it might be a little tiring if you're on a long drive. Sure. But obviously, there was a rhyme and reason for doing it, and uh, it's just kind of a little tip of the cap after. Uh, after a hard fought win for us. Okay, Zach, we got to tell you something. Uh, you know, we we had planned to have you on at at, at four thirty, but as Joe Trahan tells us, sometimes it might be a little early, a little late, and we're we're willing to do whatever you need to do. But we had a guest scheduled for this, oh, and usually we'd have pushed that guest out and just made it the Zach Martin show. But we decided to bring both you on because there is something special about this occasion. Is joining us now is NFL and college football analyst and former Notre Dame player, He's now with DraftKings, Kings, it's Mike Golick Jr. here on the Oh, let's go. How about it, boys? Yeah, man, what's going on? I just, I, man, I mean, I'm amazed, guys, walking in. I've already seen more social media posts from Zach <laughs> Martin this year than maybe in the entire rest of his career combined, and now the guy's doing media every week. This is incredible. I, you know, I, yeah, I'm trying to, to later in my career, I'm trying to, to broaden my horizon a little bit, is what my wife keeps telling me, you know. <laughs> 
I was going to say, I figured this was coming from Morgan. So good to see you. How you doing, buddy? Glad to hear from you. I'm doing well. Good to hear from you, man. Okay, so oh we have God. Mike Golick Jr. and Zach Martin on. What, what can you guys begin to share with our audience, Mike? Can we can we start with you as far as your experience at, at Notre Dame with Zach and your relationship there? Hey, yeah, you know what? I, I, I like to joke now that I taught Zach everything he knows, but it was apparent very early on to all of us at Notre Dame that it, you know, Zach was just kind of built different. I'll never forget Zach's redshirt freshman year. You know, him and Chris Watt both came in in the same class, and, you know, they were not playing right away. I was a year above those guys, and we're midway through practice one day, and our coach sees them doing something technique-wise, and he goes, the rest of you guys should be doing that, and built an entire drill based off something that Zach had just done naturally on his own, his body lean, the way he set and pass pro. And so we kind of knew after that, like, all right, yeah, there's there's probably something special here, and away we went on that one. So it's uh, it was funny to see that early on in there, but, I always tell people Zach was the most normal teammate you could have asked for. We all knew how great of a player he was, but he was just another guy in the locker room. So it's been no surprise to see him leading the charge in the Cowboys locker room and doing all the stuff he's done there. Zach, was it surprising for you as as an underclassman, or had you come to expect that you you were, as uh, Mike calls it, just built different and capable of learning things quick? No, no, I appreciate the kind words from Mike. I didn't really know what the hell was going on when I first got there. You know, I was uh, – undersized uh true freshman you know running around with like my chicken with my head cut off but uh kind of settled in there had a good good red shirt year learned a lot from these guys and then um you know was able to step in that lineup uh the next season but uh no we had a special group there at notre dame and uh you know we take a lot of pride in the, tra- the tradition of that offensive line room so it's a great group to be a part of all right, we're talking with Zach Martin and Mike Golick Jr. here with you on 105 through the fan Notre Dame teammates. Can we talk some Cowboys w- w- with both of you guys? And, you know, y- usually in, in games, there's opportunities for like clear feedback on where you could be better. But after two games this great, Zach, like where is the emphasis and the focus on, on after a, a, a couple of games like that? Well, I can assure you if you turn the tape on, there's plenty we can get, we can get better on. Uh, no question. Um, you know what jumps off the page? I think is is uh, you know when we get down in the red zone, we got to finish drives better. Um, you know another Notre Dame guy, Ben and Aubrey had a great uh, you know great uh, day on Sunday, kicking a ton of field goals. But we want we want to be able to finish those drives when we have those uh, you know long sustained twelve play drives. When we get down there, we got to punch it in the end zone. So that that's kind of um, first and foremost what we're looking at for sure. Gojo, did you pick uh, Zach's Cowboys to go to and win the Super Bowl this year in your preseason predictions? You know what? Believe me, I'm 100% going to say right now on this call, absolutely 100% did. I'm pushing for Zach to get MVP votes this year. Like, we're going to try and make it all happen, man. But, no, it, it, it's been exciting to watch the beginning of this portion of the season, and I feel like a lot of the onus and the focus is back on Zach's group. Like, Zach, I'd be curious for you. You've been there so long now. You came in originally on an offensive line that had veteran players around you there. Doug Free was playing next to you for a bunch of years. And now you're that guy on the other side for a whole new group of guys. What you and Terrence Steele have started to build on the right, or have built on the right side of that line has been incredible. But how long did it take you to kind of get used to all the new guys to your left and right as the years went on there? Yeah, I mean, it, it is it is crazy when you've been here a while. Um, you know, like you said, when I got in here, I was by far the youngest guy in the room. And uh, we had a ton of great veteran leadership. And then, you know, over the years, guys start to leave, go to different teams and um, you know, we're kind of getting back into that sweet spot where we have, you know, the, the uh, Tyler Smith, Terrence Steeles, Tyler Biotic, these guys who have gotten a couple years under their belts and have really developed. And uh, it, it's a it's a fun room to be a part of. We got a, we got a ton of guys in that room that can play a ton of physical guys. And, uh, you know, most importantly, we're looking forward to getting all five of us out there at the same time. Um, you know, we've been banged up a little bit over the last uh, last year. And then obviously the start of the season, not having Tyler Smith out there, but um, you know, we're looking forward to getting out there and uh, starting to build um, that that uh, cohesiveness as, as that as that starting five. What's the, what's the oldest you guys have felt in the room? Because Tyron was my age coming out of high school. I know. So. All, well, you know, the famous thing, Tyron's like this is like his twentieth year in the league, and I'm uh, like two months older than him. So, <laughs> um, yeah, no, there's you know the video game talk. Like I don't, I'm not a gamer, so you know there's a lot of there's a lot of video game talk, and I you know I get lost in the shuffle sometimes when that's going on. 
Zach Martin show here with you on 105 through the fan and joined on the phone by Mike Golick Jr. as well. It's amazing. This is uh, this is incredible for us, fellas. Now, I, I'm curious your thoughts on Micah Parsons, Gojo, but I got to ask you, Zach. He's talking about growling at people in the locker room. Has Micah come up to you and actually growled in your face? Yeah, he growls at everyone. I mean, you see the. I mean, he 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 does that bear crawl thing faster than I can run. So, you know, he, he's a uh, he's a special player. I mean, we we've seen it over the last couple of years at practice. We see it every day. Um, you know, you got to have a plan for this guy. You can't you can't sit back and uh, protect him with one guy uh, throughout the game. So, he's just you know kind of that generational type talent. And you know, credit to Micah too. He he works his butt off. You see him you see him out at practice. He's going all you know full bore all day and. Uh, it shows up on Sunday. What can you tell us about your young guys? It looks like we're doing a pretty good job developing uh, some uh, some young offensive linemen behind you with both uh, Bass and Richards last week. Yeah, I, w- I was super proud of those two guys who came. You know, TJ played the whole second half, and, and you know, he was lining up there at left guard versus, you know, a very good defensive tackle and held, and held his own. He did a great job. And uh, then Austin Richards came in and, you know, it's a credit to to Coach Mike Slari and and those guys getting getting everyone ready. I think we we talk a lot about it in our room. Um, you never know when when that time is going to come. You know, especially when you're only dressing seven or eight guys on game day. So, um, you know, to start the season, we've had these young guys get in there a little bit, and it's it's great for their development. And um, yeah. So, so Zach, if you're not a video game guy, like what was it? What what were you and Gojo doing off the field in college? If there if you're not video gaming, what what was? How were you guys passing time? Well, you know. I'm not a big, you know, the, the 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 online video games is what's going on now. You know, I'm I'm into the, you know, one v one multiple play multiplayer in the dorm room, you know, having a few beers. That's 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 kind of my style. The sitting at home gaming all night uh, on on the live. That that's not really my uh, my scene, but it's all right. Yeah, you guys have to understand when we were in college. I think it was like the third Halo had just yeah come yeah out. yeah Halo three. I think really that was my, my freshman year. Yeah, I say so. We were all like. <laughs> Break it. We were. We all at that point. We had to actually connect our Xboxes to one another to play together <laughs> online. You didn't have any of that stuff now. It was either that or old school Super Smash Brothers. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's 64, so yeah. that was that was where we went. <laughs> Would they call those? Were those LAN parties? I believe that's what they call yeah. it. Like yeah, local maybe, area I, network. I'm not familiar with that term, but LAN. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mentally weak over here, Zach. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> so, hey, big Notre Dame game. Like, Gojo, you're probably out there right now just soaking it all in. I'm sure, Zach, you'd love to be out there, but you got things to attend to right now. But big Notre Dame-Ohio State situation going on. Looks like you guys got a quarterback, fellas. Man, it's uh, it, it's been something different than we've been used to around here in a while. And we were fortunate. We had a lot of good quarterbacks on campus when we were here, You know, when Zach and I were here. you know, I came in, Jimmy Clausen was there, Dane Chris, Tommy Reese. Everett Golson, our last, you know, my last year in 2012 when I was with Zach. But to have a quarterback come in with this much experience, I'm on campus right now this week. My parents live out here half the year, and we were just walking over by practice. And Zach can tell you this: on Friday on a game week, especially when you're winning around here, and we had college game day come for the Stanford game in 2012 when we were here, and the juice around campus gets going. It's a Thursday, and this place is at like an eight, close to a nine right now. <laughs> It's something different around here, and I think it is the quarterback effect. When you got a dude at that position that is a certified rock star like Sam is right now, it's just different. Gentlemen, can't thank you enough for this uh, conversation. Best of luck to your fight in Irish and to each of you. And, and, and Zach, give him hell. We'll, we'll catch you up with you next week, buddy. All right, sounds good, Mike. Good talking to you, man. Good talking to you, brother. Say hi to your folks for me. Yep, you too. See you. There they go. Zach Thanks, Martin fellas. brought to you by Ford, built for Texas, built for you. 